Welcome again guys, this is Design Releasing. In today's video, we are going to design a real estate flyer like this. You can see how sharp the flyer is. If you were told that I used phone to design this type of flyer, you won't believe. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to design a great flyer just like this. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel to help me grow and like this video if the video is worth it. You can also comment down below the type of video you will want me to create. And also, most of the files I'm using in this video, you can find it in the description below. So go there if you want to make use of the same file I'm using, that know the files and make use of them. Alright guys. so. With that said, let us dive into today's video. So I'm going to remove this now and start afresh. Okay, so that is what I am going to do now. Alright, so let me just delete this now. So a new template. So I'm going to delete this. Alright, so this is a fresh start design we are going to be doing. Alright, so the design size I'm using, I'm using 1280 pixel by 1280 pixel. If you don't understand what I mean by the design size, this is it. So go up to this three point, okay, that three dots there. So among the options here, you will find image size. So this is the image size. So tap on the image size to bring out the design size. So here you will have the design size, it's just that it's somehow hidden here. Alright, so this is the design size. So input the design size there 1280 pixel by 1280 pixel. So it's an aspect ratio of 1 is to 1. Alright, so that is a square aspect ratio. So that's the size I'm using. Okay, guys, so the next step I want to do now is to bring in my background image. So to do that, what I'll quickly do is I'll tap on this layer style. This is the layer okay so this is this layer icon down here so tap on the layer icon so here you can see from gallery which means we have to bring in an image from our gallery so when you tap on that it will take you to your phone gallery so now i'll bring in the photo i downloaded so here is the photo i'll be using for the background so i'm just going to tap on that to bring it in so it will come in like this so tap on this good button below here tap on the good button below here so just tap on this all right so this will be the background so i just want to fade this background down so what i'm going to do i will add a shape over this background so to do that go to this plus button tap on that you will see among the option tap on shapes so this is shape so it brings in a shape like this a rectangle a square shape so scale the size down to cover the whole background okay so scale the size down to cover the whole background so what i'm going to do now is to reduce the opacity of this shape over my background and to do that select the shape then go down here this um, shape icon just tap on the shape icon it will bring in option that controls the shape so scroll down to a point where you see opacity so here is opacity so tap on that you can uh, reduce the slider or you increase the slider according to your own taste so i'm just going to um decrease it to 66 percent so when i'm done i'm tap on this good button sign all right so now it's time for me to color this shape layer all right so what i'm going to do uh, same place i am also go to color this is color turn this on to enable the color so here i'll be using a gradient color so tap on gradient tap on gradient i'm on this gradient i order i already have the gradient i'll be using here as for you you don't have the gradient yet so what i'm going to do you are going to use this code i'm using you the code will appear on the screen so this is what you are going to do so tap on this color stop when you tap on that tap on the pen bucket tool here so here you can input the color code i'll be using here so tap on this edit to edit the color code here you can find the color how to edit the color code here okay all right so just tap on that and input the color code that will appear on the screen okay it's as simple as that so just tap on it to edit this and put the color code that will appear on the screen okay so when you input the color code what you are going to do is to 
tap on this good button okay that then tap on okay and the color code will be we we, we um, appear here so it's just as simple as that okay then the same thing you do to this other side so you tap on this then tap on the ok button tap on the pen bucket to there to input the color code here okay so here is it to tap on this edit to input the color code the same thing i did to the first one that's the same thing you will do the color code will be on the screen so you copy that if you want to use the same color code i'm using but if you want to use your own color you are good to go all right but that's how to input the color code so this is the background color i'll be using for this so you can see i faded out the background image so that it doesn't look that sharp okay all right so the next thing we are going to do now is to cut uh, work on the background so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in a shape to bring in a shape i'll tap on the plus button here all right so this is tap on shapes to bring in a shape so a, rec a rectangular shape so you can uh, make it cross the screen like this so bring it down here okay just like this so for this i will leave it at white so this one will remain white okay all right so this is the background this is the shape now so i put it here okay that is the shape all right so the next thing is to copy this shape because like in the first design you saw that there was another um there was another rectangle which was yellow at the back of this so to do that select this um shape then go to select the shape go to this um shape icon just tap on that you know that already so now you tap on copy among this option this is copy so tap on copy okay so we have copied that so what we are going to do we are going to change the, this color to yellow color so the color code i'm using will also appear on the screen for this i'm using a yellow color okay so um, you can just set the color from here tap on this plus button then take your um slide out to yellow so that is yellow color all right so this will be the color so what i'm going to do i'll place this at the back of the white color to do that go to the layer icon here so tap on the layer icon so this is the yellow color layer this is the yellow color layer why this is the white color layer so to move the yellow color layer below the white color layer what you have got just have to do is to long press on the yellow color then bring it back down to the white color layer all right so we are just going to lock the white color then we move the yellow color just down a little bit like this all right guys so this is our background and we are done with that so for us not to scatter our background again what we are going to do is go to your layer panel here this is the layer so now we are going to lock um our background down so tap on this lock icon to lock all our background down okay so you are just going to lock them down all right guys so we are at this point now so the next thing we are going to do is to bring in our images to do that we want to put our uh, the three the uh, three of our images first like the first design you saw into circles okay so to do that tap on this plus button to bring in the circles tap on shapes then select tap on this place to select a circle so this is a circle so i'm just going to tap on okay all right guys so this is a circle so i'm just going to scale down the circle put it somewhere like this all right so to place an image in a circle this is a simple way to do that to do that select the circle which you want to place the image inside select the circle then among this option scroll down to scroll down to um texture so this is the texture i'm talking about tap on this texture then tap on this um, gallery icon to pick an image from your phone gallery or if you are using your computer also the same thing all right guys so now i'm going to select an image from my gallery so to do that i'm just going to tap select the image it's a simple select the image you want to use bring in the image just like this all right so this is the image all right so you can see that the image entered the shape okay but is appearing twice so to settle that what you are going to do is to increase this scale scale it up so tap on this plus button just to scale it up 
manually like this all right so this is the um this is the image in the circle okay so let me bring this in sorry let me just bring so this is the color palette i'm using for this design it will be in the download link okay this is the color palette i'm using so you can just input this color palette then you input the color palette okay so this is the color palette i'm using for this design so you can input this color palette then you be, you copy the code all right so back to the shape so this is the circle shape so what we are going to do is to add a stroke to this circle shape to do that select this the image shape then scroll down to um, stroke so this is stroke enable the stroke is a white stroke i'm adding to change the color you can use select the color from this color um, panel here so you're just going to add a stroke of five then tick the good button so here is our circle first check circle okay put it at this point so the next thing i'm going to add to this circle shape is an inside shadow to do that select the circle shape scroll down to inner shadow so this is inner shadow enable it and is okay just like that take the good button so you can see how the shape is appearing so i'm going to, just going to scale this down a little bit put it at the center to know the center of this page turn on the graph here this is the graph so select enable this snap to enable it then now i can place it you can see the red line the red line showing which in case that the shape is at the center of um, is is vertically at the center of this page okay so when you're done you can turn it off just like that all right guys so now select this shape because we need extra two shapes so copy them copy it once bring it here copy it again bring it here okay all right so select this one we have copied go to texture go to texture so now we want to input another image tap on this to add another image into that all right so just select the image you want to add into that so this is the image okay all right so the image is into is inside it now all right so that's the image so do the same thing to the second one S select the um shape go to texture add another image inside that so here you want to add um, this other image Alright, so I got this image from Freepik. So you if you need images like this, you can go to Freepik and download them. Okay. Alright, so now we select this first one, scale it down, put it somewhere here, select the second one, scale it down again, put it somewhere here. Alright, so now we want to bring these two images, this one and this one, back of this one. So to do that, go to your layer, then select this one, bring it move it down under this then select the other one move it down under this okay so it's as simple as that okay so now you can arrange them just like this okay guys so we are at this point so now we are going to merge these three layers because we are done with it okay so to do that go to your layer panel then tap on this tap on this icon so tap on that then merge select the three circle we want to merge together when you're done selecting tap on this to merge them okay just like this all right guys so the two the three circles are merged together so now we can scale down the three of them together all right guys so the next thing we want to bring in is the bigger image so for that we are going to let's turn off let's uh, turn on the visibility of this color palette first so that it doesn't disturb us all right guys so this is it so now let's add the bigger image to do that we want to add that image inside a rectangle a curved rectangle so tap on this plus button tap on shapes this is the rectangular shape put it scale it up like this all right so among this option this option that is at the right hand side so here you can see we have radius this radius controls the curveness the edge curveness of this um, of this rectangle okay so to add that curveness you can add a curveness of um, 11 11 will be okay 
all right so that's that so this we have to bring it down under this other shape to do that go to your layer then bring it down under it just like this okay all right so something like this all right guys so that's that so the same process we use in adding this shape these uh, images inside the shape that the same process you use. select the shape go to texture go to um, the go to your gallery select that then add the image you want to use so this is the image i'll be adding into that all right so you can see the image is appearing something is appearing twice so for us not to scale it down much you just have to turn this enable this on to maintain ratio okay but you don't do that in all images all right so now we add um, a stroke to this to bring it to make it pop out so add this white stroke a stroke around five will be okay okay something like this so add that inner shadow to it again so select it add the inner shadow to it just add the inner shadow of um, okay decrease the blur radius to four all right guys so that is that and we are almost set with this design all right okay guys so this is it so let's get down these images a little bit so for us to do that we have to let's merge them okay so to merge them go to your layer go to layer then select the images you want to merge i want to merge so merge this one and this one together so that you can scale the two of them at the same time okay all right guys so now i'll just get to scale them down put it somewhere like this okay guys so that's that we have to scale that down okay all right so the next thing for us to do is to add um the border shape which is in the first design to do that tap on shapes okay scale this shape just like this put it over here okay so this one will serve as, as our border shape so we don't we don't need a fee we only need a stroke so at this at the at among this option at my right hand side reduce this opacity opacity to zero which controls the fill then add a stroke of white so you can add a stroke of um, three then change the color of the stroke to white all right something like this let's check that okay so we have got something like that so you can see that our stroke is crossing the yellow line to avoid that what we want to do now go to your layer panel bring this um, border under these other shapes all right so you can see it's good like this so let's lock all these layers down so that it doesn't move okay so that it doesn't move all right so you can see our image is gradually getting into shape so let us um, scale this up a little let's scale this up a little so you keep on trying different stuff until they work for your design okay that's how to do these designs all right so let's lock that down okay guys so let's add our text to do that tap on this plus button tap on text so the first text here will be elegant home so edit this text so elegant home okay so they should all be capital letter Should all be capital letter okay something like this so let's zoom this out so that we can see where we are placing our text okay so elegant home so now change the font of this elegant home to a border font so as for me i'm using Montserrat bold that's what i'm using Montserrat black if you don't have this font i did a video on how uh, 500 plus font you can watch that video it will be in the description and get this font okay but if you are using the same version with me the font will be on your font so scroll to a point where you find that font okay all right so this is the elegant tool we want to use the text okay so place this text up here okay 
let's on this so that we see where the text is at the middle of the page all right so somewhere like that so if you can see you can see that this um our text is crossing the borderline so what we are going to do is to erase this part of this borderline okay to do that go to your layer because we log that select select the borderline then go to this um shape icon tap on it so scroll down to a point where you see eraser so here remember we have an erase color and we have eraser the one we are using now is erase is eraser so tap on the eraser so here you can use this tap on this because we need a um, square shape of eraser so tap on that then select this square shape of eraser so you're just going to select that so here you can do justice to this just move this to this point just like this all right so when you have gotten the point we want to erase this point out of this our shape when we have gotten this point what we are going to do is to select this um select that and that point will be deleted then tap on this good button you can see what we are all right so it's as simple as that okay Alright guys, so now we can lock the border background down again. Alright, so we have gotten our elegant. So the next text will be for C. So we just copy this first text we did. So copy it, bring it down, change the text content to for C. Okay, so this one should be for C. Okay, so all capital letters. So put it below here. On this graph so that you know when it's at the middle of the page okay so this one will be the for say so we want to change this the font uh, style of this uh, for say so go to your font I'm using area so if you are using this I'm using area use it a, a, a thinner font compared to the first <coughs> bold font okay that's just what I want to get here okay so it doesn't mean you use the same font with me but use the same font a diff a variation of font okay Alright guys, so that's that. So the next thing will be the um, other text which describes the estate. So what, what we are going to do now, select this other text, copy it again, bring it down here. So here, since I'm not designing for a client, I just add a dummy text here. So here I said add description, add your description about the home here. So add your description just using a dummy text so if you have gotten this from a client you use the text the client sent for you at this point <coughs> okay so that is that all right guys so scale this down scale this down put it under here no way inside the center all right so this All right, so we have gotten something like this. So we need this um, shape. We need a shape so so that to add a bit to this, bring in a shape like this. All right, so the color of this shape should be should be yellow. Okay, just bring in the shape to this point, somewhere like this. So change the color of this to yellow. All right. Change the color to yellow something like this so copy this shape copy this shape copy it bring it to this other side use this position to control the movement of this because your fingers cannot work at this point so you're just going to use this to control the movement of this okay sorry it's not at the right position yet so we still use this to control the movement of it All right, so we have gotten something like this. So let's zoom it out to see what we have done. All right, so we are almost getting what we are doing, okay? All right, guys, so you need to stay to the end of this video because if you, and I will add an extra effect to this design to make it very sharp. You can see it's somehow dull, okay? So if you don't stay to the end of this video, you will not understand the extra effect I'm adding to this design to make it very sharp. So 
that is that so please stay to the end and if you like the video give a thumbs up to this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you will support my channel okay that's the only way you can do that all right so let's move on so now let's work on the downside of this design so let's zoom this out to work on this downside okay all right so what we need to add on this downside is to add the action button which is the contact and the um, book now button so to do that go tap on the plus button add a shape so this shape will house our book now okay just add the shape like this so for this shape we are using um a, add this a border radius of around nine or add a border radius of around 19 then add a color add a color to this add a color like this to this so we are using a gradient color the same gradient color we use for the background of the um, the, the shape over the background that the same gradient color we are using but for, at this point we want to add uh, we want to change the orientation of this gradient color so to do that use um, tap on this so let's check the one we are going to use so let's tap on this okay so tap on this first this first option here okay just tap on that so now move this gradient color to this point to the center then tap select it select this stop then tap on the plus button to add another gradient the same gradient color of that so move this okay sorry let's delete that so tap on this first this first one copy it then move it to this point so that we can have uh, one another color here so you can change the um, the center color to something brighter like this okay all right so that is the type of gradient color i added there so the next thing to do is to add the text so go to text or what we can simply do delete this text we just added what we can simply do is to copy the other text the text we use above there then bring it to this point okay so to do that let me zoom this out okay so let's copy this text so let's copy this text copy this text bring it below here then let's zoom it out okay so i did this text so this text should be book now book now okay or in capital letter all right so the text should be above here just like this so what i'm going to do i'll um, merge these two layers to do that go to your layer panel here so select the layer you want to uh, merge together if you all know this by now if you have been using pz lab if you have not been using pz lab you can watch my other tutorials on the introduction to pz lab and it will teach you how to merge layers okay but if you have been following me you know how to merge layers on pz lab okay all right so we add our text our um, book now button there so what we are going to do is to add our website if they have a website or we add our contact information so to do that go to text so now let's go and copy the other text that was up so copy this one the says text so i'm going to copy this copy it bring it down here yeah, change the color to um this color change the color to this color if you can decide to use your own color that will be better but this was the color palette as used this is how you use the color palette tap on this um eyedropper tool then scroll down here you will see the color palette so this was um okay sorry so let me enable that so that we can see the color palette okay so tap on this tap on the eyedropper to so all right so this is the color palette so pick this color just put your finger over it and it will select it okay that's how to use the eyedropper to to pick the color palette which we which we are using okay so let's hide that all right guys so let's zoom this out so that we can see what we are doing properly okay all right so this will be our contact information so now i did this text Add the phone number of the company okay for this i'm just using a random phone number something like this just a random phone number okay so i'm going to scale this down put it below here so for this i'll make the text bold so make the text bold go to text 
make it bold put it somewhere like this so here i'll copy this one bring it below here so here i'll change the color of this to make a color variation so for this i'll be using a gray color a gray color gray something like this all right so edit this this should be for more info call us so that will be this text for more info call us for more info call us okay all right so that's the text so let's scale this down a little bring it over here Alright, so just put it put them there. So let's merge that to test before we merge that. So select this one, copy it, take it to this other side. Okay, select this one, copy it, take it to this other side. Okay, so this one will house our um our website name. Okay, so this one will house our website name. For this, I'm just using a dummy text. So for this, I'll be using this www. Your website, your website. Dot com. Okay. All right. Then for this other one, I'll just write visit our website. Visit our website all right so guys don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, turn up the notification for this channel okay as for you struggling with um, using your finger on your screen there's this i have a solution for you and i will do that video on this channel so for you not to miss that video i'll show you how you can make use of um, your mouse with your phone so for you not to miss that video when i will drop it don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video it will be helpful for you because you will now use your um you'll be able to make use of your your mouse with your phone okay so that's a very simple something that i'll be showing for those of you that will support me by subscribing all right guys so this is this so just scale this down a little bring it somewhere like this scale this down a little bring it somewhere like this okay all right so if you have um, a phone contact icon you can add the icon by the side here yeah? if you also have a website icon you can add it by the side here yeah? okay all right so that's a simple tips for you all right guys and our design is set so this is how you design a real estate flyer so now i'm going to show you how to make your design um pop and how to make it very sharp so this is a simple trick i use so if you have stayed to the end of this video let's dive in now so for this i'll save it save your design as a project first then save it as image so now you can save it as project okay just tap on that then name your project here put your project name here as for me i won't be saving this as project because i already have it as project so i will be saving it as image so that i'll show you how to make this design very sharp so this is the setting you are going to use so tap on this arrow tap on this arrow then make use of ultra then tap on this make use of png because when you'll be sharing this to your customer png image doesn't drop quality like jpeg image it doesn't mean is a um is without background just changing the uh, format okay so let me save this now so that we can walk into that all right so i've saved that now so let's remove this design okay so i'll just remove that design so let's remove this other text okay so now pay attention to this so go to this layer um, panel just tap on this then go to from gallery so now we want to import that design we just did from our gallery as the background of this other design so let me bring it in okay all right so this is it so is a background you can see it without layers it doesn't have any layers so now this one is a background this is the design now it's like a background so now let me show you how to enhance your design so to do this go to this option this um star stuff 
so just tap on that then here you can see contrast okay contrast tap on this contrast then you can add a contrast just like this a contrast around 15 you can see the difference in our design you can see now our design is somehow dark but if i add a contrast of around 15 the design becomes so sharp okay so now we can add you can decide to add saturation which works for most of the design saturation of, of around three uh we can add um the brightness if is working for the design bright, brightness around two but make sure you don't overdo this okay you can also add the hue to change the color of the design something like this if you are something like this but let's not make use of the hue in this other design all right guys so this is how you make your design sharp and good so now you now have to save it again as image okay so it's as simple as this all right guys so we are at the end of this video thank you guys for watching my video and all right i'll see you guys in my next video